Dear students and viewers, welcome to our online class Shokipur Pilot Girls High School. Hi, I am Arman Khan, Assistant Teacher in English Shokipur Pilot Girls High School. Dear students, in the previous class, I discussed about changing sentence that means simple to compound and just I have discussed important rules how to change simple sentence into compound. Today, I am going to discuss about how to change simple sentence into complex. That means simple to complex. Can you remember what is complex sentence? There will have only principal clause and one or more subordinate clause. That means complex sentence. Suppose, Rudwan, breaking the table the boy ran away. Here we can see if the simple sentence begin with participle and there is only one subject. If we want to change it to compound, we have to use at first the sign of complex sentence since as when. If the participle indicates any region of the work, you will have to use since or as and if the participle indicates any time, then you have to use when and breaking the table the boy ran away here participle is indicating the reason of your work so we have to use since or as as then we have to write the subject of the second clause the boy then you have to change the participle according to the verb of the second clause. If the verb is present, the participle will be present. If the verb is past, then participle will be past. Here, ran is past form, so the past form of break is broke. As the boy broke, then you have to write the rest of the part of the sentence, the table. As we have taken the subject in the first, sorry, the boy, that means at the beginning of the sentence, then you have to write the pronoun of this sentence here. He ran away. Are you clear now? At first, we have to use since or as at the beginning of the sentence to change into complex. Then you have to write the subject of the second clause, the boy. Then you have to change the participle according to the second verb. Then you have to write the rest of the part of the clause. Then you have to use comma. After that, you have to write the pronoun of this subject then you have to write the after the subject from the last okay come to the another example the feast was sorry was being over The feast being over, everybody returned home. Returned home. 
What is the difference between the two classes? Two examples. Here the subjects of the different classes are different. Here the only one subject, but here the subject are the fist and everybody. They are different. So there will be no sense between the subject. Here the first clause indicates the time of a war. So we have to use when. Then you have to write the first subject, the feast. Then you have to change the ing form of verb, that means participle according to the verb of the second clause. Here, return is past form, so participle will be past form. B means B verb. M is R is the present form and was R is the past form. So, here will be was past form over and the second clause will not be sensed. Everybody returned home. Returned home. Now is it clear for you? Okay. If the simple sentence begin with participle and here is only one subject, then you have to write the at the beginning of the sentence to change into complex. But if the subject is different between the two clauses, then subject will not be changed. These are the difference between the two examples. Next, come to the another rule by. Playing well, you can, you can win the game, win the game. By playing well, you can win the game. Here, there is a condition. So, if we want to sense the simple sentence into compound, we have to use conditional word if, then you have to use the subject of the second clause, you, if you, then you have to use, sorry, by playing well, you can win the game. If you then ing form of verb will be sensed according to the verb of the second clause. Here the verb is present form. So you can write the present form of the verb. If you play well. Then you have to use the pronoun of the you and you is also pronoun. And you have to write the rest of the part of the sentence. Can win the game. Can win the game. According to condition, you can write here will. Helping her will. By playing will, you will win the game. Both are the same. Okay, I am discussing about this rule again. If the simple sentence begins with by, it indicates any condition. So we have to use if at the beginning of the sentence to change into complex. Then we have to write the subject of the second clause, you. Then the participle after by, it will be changed according to the second clause of the verb. Here verb is present form, it will be always in present form, so the verb will be present form. Then you have to write the rest of the part of the clause. Here generally the subject will be in the second person, so you have to write the its pronoun, you is also pronoun, so you have to write the
pronoun of the subject you then the rest of the part of the sentence there will be no sense you can win the game next come to another rule if we use without instead of by without doing the work doing the work you will be punished you will be punished this sentence has also indicated any condition so but here the clause is affirmative and this clause will be negative so we can use conditional word if then you have to write the subject of the second clause you then i have told this sentence will be affirmative and this sentence will be negative so we have to write and this clause will be in present indefinite tense so helping her do not then participle will be changed according to the second clause the base form of the participle the verb rest of the part of the clause here is the pronoun you you have to write its pronoun here also you and then rest of the part of the clause will be punished now are you clear about this two examples if the simple sentence begin with by then complex sentence the first clause will be affirmative if the simple sentence begin with without then the first clause of the complex sentence will be negative you can change into complex in this way <coughs> instead of if you can use unless unless then it will not be here because unless has expressed the negative part unless you do the war you will be you will be punished both are right now is it clear dear students come to na another example or rules i have just this discussed only one example in for one rule rule 5 if the simple sentence begin with in spite of in spite of her trying her best kya could not shining light if the simple sentence begin with in spite of or despite you have to use do or although at the beginning of the complex sentence do then you have to write the subject of the second clause care 
Then you have to write the since the verb ing form of verb that means participle according to the verb of the second clause. Do can here could not is past form so try it will be past form. Try it. Rest of the part of the clause. Hard. Best. And you have to use the pronoun of kya, she, because it is feminine. Then rest of, rest of the part of the clause. Could not. Shine in light. Shine in light. It's very, very important rule. I am discussing it again. If the simple sentence begin with in spite of, if you change into compound, at first you have to write do or all do. Then you have to write the subject of the second clause, kya. Then ing form of verb will be changed according to the verb of the second clause. Here could not is past form, so here will be past form of try it. Rest of the part of the clause have based, then comma. Because we write the, we have written the subject here, so we have to use the pronoun of this subject because the subject are same. See, then you have to write the rest of the part of the clause, could not shine in life. Is it clear? Here is an example, another rule. At the time of my playing football, they came to me at the time of if the simple sentence begin with at the time of then ing at the time of my playing football they came to me if the simple sentence begin with at the time of, we have to use while at the beginning of the complex sentence. Then you have to write the subjective form of this possessive form. Here, possessive form my and its subjective form is I. And then, this clause will be past continuous tense. The helping verb of past continuous tense is was or were. While I was, then you will have to write the rest of the part of the clause playing football. And the second clause will not be sensed. They came to me. It's very important rule. I am discussing about it again. If the simple sentence begin with at the time of, if we are to change into compound the simple sentence and the first clause will be into past continuous tense. So you have to write while at the beginning of the clause. Then the possessive form will be changed into subjective form, I. The helping verb of past continuous tense is was or were. We have to use it according to the subject. Here subject is first person, so first person similar number. That means I. So the helping verb will be was. Then you will have to write the rest of the part of the clause playing football. And the second clause will not be sensed. Here is another example. In another role, the girl was two weeks 
to RAM. Two adjective two. If the simple sentence belongs to two adjective two, then if we are to change it to compound, sorry, complex, we have to use so instead of to. Then you have to write adjective, and you have to use that instead of to. And then we have to write the pronoun of the subject here. The girl pronoun is she. Then you have to use cannot or could not. That will depend on the subject of verb of this first clause. Here verb is past form, so we have to use could not. If the verb is present form, we have to use here cannot. Here was past form, so we write we will write here could not. Then you have to write after to from from to then last. Run. Please listen to me what I am saying. If the simple sentence belongs to to adjective to, then you have to use so instead of to. Then you have to use you have to write adjective. And you have to write that instead of to. Then you have to use the pronoun of the subject. Then you have to use can not or could not according to the verb. Then you have to write after to to the last of the sentence. Last one. During summer I visited I visited Dhaka. If the simple sentence have after preposition in season or long time, and if the simple sentence begin with at and here is short time, and simple sentence. After preposition on, if the hair is date or day, then we have to use at the beginning of the sentence when. Then we have to use as a subject it in personal. Then we have to use be verb according to the verb of the second clause. If the Verb is past form here. Be verb will be past. If the present form here, be verb will be present form. If the verb is past form, then be verb will be past form. When it was, because here visit is is past form. Then you have to write the season, time, day or date, summer. When it was summer. The second clause will not be changed. I visited Dhaka. Dear students, is it clear to you? Okay. I have discussed. Just important rules how simple sentence can be changed into complex sentence. You have to practice more and more at your home.
I hope you will be well at your home and try to save from coronavirus. Thank you everybody.